interest was an interesting story that's developing um because taco bell was trending for the best part of what i'm gonna say the day right taco bell was trending in the united states on twitter um mostly because of this video that went viral of one of the guys that works or someone that works at taco bell being fired or effectively showing himself being fired uh by a taco by his manager because he decided to wear a face mask that had black lives matter written on it and his little you know political protest that he did at his workplace which raised some interesting questions about um you know the need to conform you know in a corporate workspace and what that means and you know the corporation's right to essentially dictate what you wear in terms of a uniform um just some interesting things but i thought it was interesting to hear just how he kind of um handled the situation himself the actual guy let me see if i can get a video to load up here before we continue let's get these ones off du, 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 du. come on so loading there you go it's coming up so this is the video of the dude get up here on full screen so you guys can hear it full screen it come on come on come on talk about manager fires employee for wearing a black lives matter face mask come on bruv it's loading now you, you, you just go. fired me because i got a black lives matter on. you just told me I had to go home because I got a black. I'm not. I'm not. Because I'm standing up for what was right. I'm not taking it off. Tammy said we could wear whatever mask. No, she did not. She said it had to be played. You can't bring politics into the building. Bro, I'm not bringing politics in. This is what I'm standing for. It is politics, though. And unfortunately, I do get the sentiment. I understand where he's coming from. But if you work for a Tucker Bell, if you work for, I think Starbucks went for the similar sort of thing, but I guess they probably hired too many progressives and it's a bit left-leaning for the most part. Didn't it start in Seattle, right? Is Seattle a left-leaning state? I'm not too sure. Don't listen to me. But uh, Starbucks buckled under the pressure probably because they knew how bad the optics were, right? You about you know, remember that story a couple of years a couple of years ago, maybe last year, where those two black dudes got a cost, well, got essentially removed from a Starbucks by police officers because the manager said that they didn't buy anything and blah, blah, blah. So they probably didn't need bad press. But when I went to Taco Bell when I was in the States last, that was what, 2016 or something, right? That might have been Golf Wine Festival. Um, number one, it's pretty tasty, right? I know some Americans will just, you know, probably barf into their mouth hearing that. But when I had Taco Bell, I really enjoyed it. And again, I come from the UK, right? We're used to having, you know, Indian takeaway and all that and fish and chips and kebabs as sort of like your, I don't know, hangover food or the food that you eat when you just have got nothing else left in the fridge. You just want to get something shit and cheap. So to be able to go to a fast food place that serves burritos and tacos and stuff and, you know, chili fries and massive uh, cups of fucking soft, soft drinks, I was in heaven. I think I got a standard meal. It must have cost me like, I don't know, $5 or something or 6 something. It's really stupidly cheap. And the portions, of course, were absolutely massive, you know, a medium in America, sort of like our large here. So that was great. Um, and I didn't get the shits because that's usually the universal sign of going to Taco Bell. You get the shits the next day, but I found it pretty filling. And it sort of lined my stomach for the entirety of the golfing festival. Um, I didn't mind it really, but, you know, going in there, it was quite dreary, quite dead the members of staff that are in there could not give more of a single fuck and this must have been one random one i found in la i forgot where exactly it was but um i just remember the staff not really caring um they were pretty low energy and pretty lethargic not really caring about the job they're working in it's a fast food joint what they're gonna do um but it did seem as if like you know they were all wearing the uniform they all had a little hat on that he's got the polo or the shirt um, it didn't really strike me as a place where you could turn up and wear a hooded top or something, right? You kind of had to conform to some level, to some degree. And I'd imagine it'd be the same as a place like McDonald's or right? KFC, you'd probably do the same thing. Um, so I think you're, if you're this guy, you're putting your employer in an impossible situation because you well, you know full well when you work in this kind of place, because I've worked in something similar, like a bowling lane, a bowling alley place sort of place, right? Where I was essentially looking after the fried food section i'd essentially make people nuggets and chips and stuff and you know working in those environments they're very very picky about what you can and cannot do especially when it comes to attire because most of the time they're hiring a lot of kids who 
don't essentially like conforming in any way shape or form or being told what to do so they usually try and push or bend the rules so they always have to kind of really enforce their rules to us guys the kind of youth in the restaurant or in the fast food place can't create a restaurant it's in the fast food establishment much more than others so yeah it's a it's a i don't know i don't really again i'm not really a fan of bringing your politics into work i think it should be something you should keep private or something you should just do away from the purview of you know others um if you really want to enact change but i guess if you're in his case you're like you know what i'm in contact with thousands of people during a week this is my chance also raise awareness of something i'm very fond and you know um something i'm very passionate about i guess like how is this considered politics how is it not denzel i'm not taking it off Okay, well then, there's nothing I can do for you. I'm just doing my job. I'm doing mine. Yeah, doing I feel, I feel bad for I'm standing her. up for my peoples too. You don't get it. You don't either. No, I do get no, it. No, you don't. Because if you did, this wouldn't be a problem. It's not that it's a problem. But fair to him though, as well, for not recording her. He could have easily, I guess he's trying to be sly about it. I'm not too sure if he did it because he's being altruistic, but I think it would have been unfair to sort of like point the camera at this woman's face because she's doing nothing wrong, really. She's just following orders. And even if she isn't, if the rules say you can't wear anything politically motivated or charged, or I'm sure you probably can't even wear a band t-shirt over there, right? Or like that different colored trainers. So um, from the standard sort of like black or dark blue. So um, yeah, I'm glad he didn't put a face there so she wouldn't get canceled because I don't think this is a reason to cancel somebody. And this is way above her pay grade, way above both their pay grades, really. But with me, Denzel, it's a company thing. Man, I ain't trying to hear that. You let somebody wear See? something that said something about white people on it? Bro, if that's what they stand for, yes. I'm not against for what you stand for either, but I have... That's a good point, though. I don't think he'd be happy if someone came into his workplace and had the All Lives Matter mask. Let's be real. Or like a Trump 2020. That's the problem, right? Um, And again, I'm just... I don't know. I think it should, this is not the... It, you, who am I to tell anybody how to protest or how to um, you know say their piece but I don't really think wearing a politically motivated face mark at a Taco Bell is really the place for you to spread that message or raise awareness for your cause there are other places other places other places and avenues to do it that would be of more relevance but again it's a messy world out there and there's so many convoluted points that are happening at the same time Nothing really is making any sort of sense, but yeah.